Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and this is the Retivis MA1. It's a radio I've long waited to uh, to receive and to play with, and it's finally here. Let's have a look. Okay, so the radio itself, the rest of us, um, MA1, uh, boasts some rather nice um, figures. It's um, a two meter, 70 centimeter Trant Siva uh, with um, receive capabilities for the um, airband on AM um, and also for um, commercial FM. So you can you can get um, Radio 1 or, or uh, whatever uh, happens to be your FM channels of choice in your particular part of the world. Um, right, let's have a look at some statistics. Um, got low, medium and high power. Uh, low 5 watts, medium 20 watts. Uh, high power on 2 metres is 50 watts and on um, 70 centimetres is 40 watts. So that's nice. Um, standard stuff really. Channel spacing from 5 um, kilohertz right through to 100 kilohertz spacing including 12.5, um, 8.33 and so on. Nice. Um, it's a double conversion super heterodyne um, receiver. Um, FM only uh, and AM on the airbands, but it will not transmit in any other than a Foxtrot mic. So standard um, modern two meter, 70 centimeter mobile rig, really. Um, I like this piece of kit. I think it's really, really, really good uh, value for money and a nice radio. Um, the the microphone is um, typically Retivis built really well up and down um, channels on the top uh, an illuminated um, keypad as you can see um, with some nice tactile switches Oops. <laughs> some nice tactile switches on the on the base to lock the keypad and also to turn the illumination on and off um, I like this it's a nice chunky microphone not too big nicely fits into the hand the the audio as you heard or will hear in a few moments um, is slightly bassy compared to other radios but I don't mind that that's actually quite nice um, works really well um, right let's turn our intention actually to the radio itself and we'll go through some bits and pieces on that and perhaps I'll even show you how how to program it Ooh, wouldn't that be good Yeah, G3 VKV M0 MSN, uh, not mobile at home, playing with a, a little Retivus um, MA1. Just wondering what you think of the audio over. A little bit different, a little bit more bassy, uh, but perfectly okay. Yeah, nice to hear you on a Sunday morning, G3 VKV. <laughs> yeah, I'm just testing, I'm just gonna, totally playing around with something on the computer here about quarter past eight, I'm still here. <laughs> I've had my breakfast though. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Is this, is this another rate of this, or is this the, the one you had before? <laughs> um, was it a new version of it? Yeah, it's it's a new Retivis. Um, this is the the MA1, which is a um, I don't guess a mobile um, car based type uh, radio with dual receive. Zero PPM. And there we are. We've got Ken G zero PPM on uh, on on uh, GH uh, by the sounds of it um, on 70 centimeters on the other band. So this one transmits as well as receives. Uh, literally a true dual band over. Probably just a good just just a job for satellites then. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't say hello. Just 
for having a chat for a few moments. Thanks for letting Graham know that um, I was uh, coming up. Yeah, I saw him on the chat page on the satellite, and um, I thought I'd just give him a call. I, 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 you know, I wondered whether he'd be talking to you. <laughs> Good to hear you. I, as I said to Graham the other day, I need to uh, tell you to retire. <laughs> Yeah, that's not far away, and as soon as I do, I suppose I better get into this uh, amateur television like you two, uh, Irks, and then I can join in. That would be very nice, very nice indeed. Actually, I was uh, tempted to apply for a job, <laughs> doing some part-time work, but uh, it's only 15 hours a week, but uh, yeah, it's basically doing what I do at home, <laughs> fixing everything. Okay, not to waste too much time on this. As you can see, the um, the screen is in um, channel label mode. This is where you can give the frequencies that a, a channel name. Uh, but if you don't like that, it's a simple case of pressing the um, the channel change button, and whatever you've got your control on uh, will change the names to the frequencies. And you can change from the A or B or B and A or A or whatever. Yes, from one side to the other side by pressing the volume control for that particular frequency. So let me just uh, do that and you'll notice it will go across. Um, and now if I press that, ah, there you go. It will change to the frequency for that particular channel. Uh, or I can go back to uh, to the thing. Um Right, you've got a VFO mode, which will allow you to change it into the VFO, and you can change it up and down. You set the steps, um, as you've seen before. That's on the marine band at the moment, capable of receiving up to 174 megahertz um, from 136 through to 174 uh, in the standard 2-meter band. Um, you can obviously go into the air band by simply putting that in. Uh, which I'll show you now. Um, you let me see if I can come out a bit. Okay, so to go into the air band, you would simply press enter and go one, um, three, four, and then whatever frequency you want for the air band, as you can see. Or, of course, you can cycle through the bands by going VFO and then pressing the band button. And each time you press the band button, if I can do it without moving the radio, seven centimeter band, that's the air band, two meter band, 70 centimeter band, air band, two meter band, and so on and so forth. Okay, so from the, to get it into radio mode, F2 and band. F2 and band. That takes you back to standard radio. Okay, so let's quickly uh, go straight into looking at how you program the uh, the Retivis MA1 using, well, programming software. Okay, reading the data from the radio using the programming software that you can download from the Retivis website. Um, you have to run this as an administrator, otherwise it won't work. But a relatively simple, straightforward um, piece of software. Connect up your USB cable, um, run the software, tell it what communication port you're using. In my particular case, it's COM port 3, and start the read. Uh, successful. And it will return then with the channels that I've set on mine, which I've about three of them or four of them, as you can see. Um, so let me see if I can actually now program channel seven with 134.750. Uh, transmit frequency is the same. Oh, bum, 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 bum. I'll just call it air band. And uh, let's see if it's got any other Things, edit the channel. Here we go. AM. 
There we go. It is ticked right to my radio. Right, success. Okay, let's have a look at the radio. So here we are back on the radio. We're, we're in this mode. Let's see what it goes to on this side. We may have to airband, yes. AM. That was simple. So, one thing to be aware of, and that is the second VFO cannot um, do alpha mic, cannot do AM. So, it's only this side can do AM, the side cannot. Okay? Personally, I would suggest that the use of the software um, is used at all times for programming this radio, um, although you can program it quite happily um, from the front panel. Um, I have found that uh, setting up um, repeaters and generally um, setting up any of the frequencies and channels has been uh, far easier using the software. Um, in fact, I'll just quickly set up a, a frequency for you now on channel 8 here. Um, if we, uh, I know I've already got it in, but let's repeat the Gloucester repeater. Um, so the receiving uh, frequency uh, for my radio is 145.725. Um, and the transmission is 600 kilohertz below that. Um, it's easier to write it in as a um, as a value than it is to do the offsets I found or find. Um, so seven um, seven two five then becomes one two five minus uh, obviously six hundred kilohertz, um, and uh, we need to set the the frequency tones. There's no um, CTCRS required on the receive for this repeater. But you do need a CTCRS to uh, um, CTCSS, sorry, to uh, to actually um, open the repeater. So we'll set that as a CTCSS code, and the frequency for the code is uh, 118.8 cycles. If I can find it, I'll be right a bit down a bit. There it is, 118.8. Um, it doesn't require 50 watts to open it, but uh, it's uh, we'll leave it at uh, medium, so that's be uh, 20 watts. Um, I want I want the channel the channel to be scannable. Um, the repeater is a narrow band repeater, um, so let's put it onto onto narrow. Um, no signaling required, and we'll just call this um, G. B3 CG2 because I know which what it is then and we'll upload that using this to the radio in a moment but before doing that we can click on the channel um, and we have a choice then to make it an AM frequency or an FM frequency we leave it as it is um, you can see that we can put the shifts and all the bits and pieces that we want in here, here, should we want to. But I'm going to leave it as a standard uh, input one. Um, now, the other uh, menus are for the different band um, start frequencies, if you like, on the VFO. So when you click the VFO, this will be the preset. Uh, 
108 megahertz, 150 megahertz, which is the two meter band, um, 100, uh, so the 450 megahertz, which is the 70 centimeter, but uh, that's the repeater frequencies. You can start it and finish it so it knows what frequencies are what. Um, going down to the next one, you've got your scan list. You can actually create scan lists if you want to do that. Um, you've got the call channel lists, basic settings, pretty straightforward this really um this radio has the ability to do cross band repeater so you can set that up to receive on two meters and retransmit it on um 70 centimeters or vice versa 70 70 centimeters and retransmit it on two meters um you have dtmf tones on the keypad uh, either a two-tone system or five-tone system uh, you have the model number um, frequency ranges and all the FM radio frequencies. Yes, hide the tools. Anyway, we've uh, set up our number eight. So what we do now, I don't know why it's you download to write, but you download it to the radio. Okay, so there's CG, uh, channel two. And there's the CG2 just created. And it works perfectly. It's been in my workshop now for a week and I've not stopped playing with it. It's, um, yeah. it's a great radio for the money. What can I say? Brilliant.